Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining me and welcome. Today's video, I'm going to be comparing two well-known powders, y'all. You know, Battle of the Powders, Battle of the Affordable Powders. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know that I love bringing you guys affordable steals, affordable products that are affordable, duh. Today I'm gonna be comparing the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder versus the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Hmm, you guessed this is, it is Battle of the Powders, okay, okay. So this is what the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder looks like, and this is what the Ben Nye Banana Powder looks like. These two side by side. They are honestly twins, okay? When I first saw the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder, I was like, is this the new, is this the new Ben Nye? Like I was confused. And then I saw the Makeup Revolution banana powder in Alyssa Ashley's video and I was like, oh, I need to get my hands on that. She was hyping it, so I tried it, I loved it. I love both powders. Ben Nye was like my go-to when I first started makeup. It was just like, y'all know the wave. The Ben Nye banana powder wave was a wave, y'all. That was like throwback. For real, for real. And it was inexpensive. But the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder um, retails for $8. And when I was just searching online, the Ben Nye Luxury Powder, it says it is $13.50. I don't remember paying that much. And I really thought it was, I mean, that's relatively inexpensive. But I guess in comparison to Makeup Revolution, I'm just like, I was a little shocked or whatever. But... They're both really good powders, so I just want to see how they compare next to each other. So as you can see, my foundation is already on. I'm going to go ahead and conceal with the same product on both eyes. I'm taking the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And this is in the shade Golden. So I'm just going to go ahead and conceal underneath. Just what I basically would normally do in an everyday routine. Um, so yeah. But I'm wondering, like, as similar as the Makeup Revolution powder looks, I'm, I'm wondering if they had any issues, if Ben Nye had any issues. Isn't that like, they basically copied their whole packaging. Like, y'all was not low. Maybe they're cousins. Maybe it's like they sister. I wonder if they're like sister businesses, you know, like the same person created Makeup Rev I don't know. I got to look into that. So I'm just taking this um, Elf Cosmetics Beauty Sponge and I'm just blending out this concealer. I really like this sponge. So now that I'm all blended out, um, I'm basically going to take the banana powder on this eye and then the Makeup Revolution powder on this eye. And we're just going to see how they wear and all that good stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to run my beauty blender underneath my eye. Make sure that there's no extra creasing because we want to make sure that this is a clear base. Um, so we can just be able to compare the, the powder. So initially I'm going to go in with a light layer first. Well, no, I'm just going to begin to press that into my skin now y'all know I don't really like to bake um if you do like to bake you know that's on you but for me I don't really like they're both yellow tinted powder so I'm just very curious to see all right lines <sighs> yeah this really was the powder like what a time what a time and then I feel like Sasha came out and everybody had like a banana powder, you know? And on my forehead, I'm just going to take it on this side. <laughs> We're just going to split it down the middle. <laughs> Not that it would make a difference. Because I feel like they're the same powder, to be honest. But we'll just see. We'll see. And I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution powder on this side. So this is the banana and then I'm going to have it on this side. So now I'm going to take the... Makeup Revolution um, banana powder and I'm going to just press that in. Now so far texture wise and color wise I'm seeing that the Makeup Revolution powder is a lot lighter and a little bit thicker in my opinion. I feel like the Ben Nye powder is a little bit like more finely milled. 
but color wise as well I'm seeing that the makeup revolution powder is a little bit lighter which I'm not mad at um, because you know if you like that extra highlighted look then that's like perfect honestly for the bridge of my nose I don't know what I'm about to do <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna go in with the Ben Nye because I don't want the bridge of my nose to be super light. Yeah, so as you can see, it kind of has like a, a lighter cast than this side. This side just looks very golden and just, oh, I forgot how good the Ben Nye powder looks. <laughs> so I'm going to finish the remainder of my face. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia bronzing powder or bronzer and cappuccino. And I'm just going to use this to kind of warm up the perimeter of my face. So on this side, I'm going to add the Makeup Revolution powder. And then on this side, I'm going to add the Ben Nye powder. So now I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC45. And I'm going to brush that kind of bake away. I really don't have to do much work on this side and bring some color back into my face as well. So if you guys find that whenever you guys are putting on powders and you're st you look ashy or ghostly, what I'm gonna suggest is go in with a face powder like this, like this MAC Studio Fix Powder or the MAC Skin Finish Powder. And before you set with the baking powder, go ahead and go in with a little bit of this powder first Press this into your skin so you're initially setting your concealer and then go in with your baking powder. This extra step of security is going to set your makeup and then when you reinforce with a little bit of highlight but it's not going to make you look ashy. It's just going to be like a nice highlighted look. So yeah. Alright you guys so I'm going to finish the remainder of my face and my eyes off camera and I'll be back to let you guys know my verdict. Peace. All right, you guys, verdict time. So, All right, so just to recap, you guys, this side was the Makeup Revolution powder, and then this side was my Ben Nye powder. So now I'm just going to take a look and see what we're looking at. All right, so, so far, the Makeup Revolution side is cracking more than the Ben Nye side. And I'm very, I'm kind of shocked because that wasn't really what I got with the Laura Mercier powder when I compared the two. Yeah, my smile lines are a lot longer and a lot patchier on this side than it is on this side. I see a little separation here. Some of my pores are poking through. There's some texture going on there. This side is really smooth. Like, of course, there's still some texture because my skin is not buttery smooth, but this side is holding up pretty well. Like I do got some smile line crackage going on here, but it's not like, it's not as bad as this side. I really thought Ben Nye was about to be trash in comparison to the Makeup Revolution. I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't used the Ben Nye powder in so long. Like I haven't used Ben Nye in, I don't know, in some years. Like I'm surprised that powder is still good. Powder doesn't expire, right? The reason I think that this side remains very smooth is in comparison to the powders, Ben Nye is more finely milled so when I placed it on it just like was, I don't know, it's super soft in comparison. This one is a little bit thicker and originally when I did put it on it was um, lighter. I don't know what was going on. I am really surprised right now. Interesting. Interesting. Down the bridge of my nose is smooth as well and remember we put the Ben Nye powder there because I wanted to do a lighter powder especially with being in the nose area. You know, I personally don't want a thick thick powder because then when the pores start seeping through and it start being dots that ain't cute. Now the last test that we're gonna do we are going to do a flashback test. I want to see which side has flashbacks so let's see all right you guys so I'm gonna insert the photo right here and as you can see this side makeup revolution y'all 
It was supposed to hold it down. My Makeup Revolution side had a little bit of flashback. Now, it was not outrageous. It wasn't OD. But in comparison, the Ben Nye one had more of a natural finish, had more of just a nice yellow undertone, just nice highlighted look. So, I mean... Based on my results, I had to go with Ben Nye in comparison to the two. I love both powders. They're great affordable alternatives for Lauda Mercier or Chanel powder. Any of those high-end powders, these two are very, very good and I will say that and I will still continue to wear both of them. I will still continue to wear both of them. So I guess the verdict is that they aren't the same powder. <laughs> nah, but for real, like, I guess they just have the same basically the same body I feel like anybody if somebody wanted to go to the store and buy and they just they're sitting right next to each other they're gonna accidentally pick up thinking that it's one or the other like I don't know that's weird anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel let me know if you guys like these comparison videos especially the affordable ones you guys know I'm gonna bring you the high-end versus the low-end but let me know if you guys like the affordable versus each other um yeah and I can bring you guys some more of those so I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video bye